Let me do a quick length check for y'all real quick. Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host Pinky and today I'm going to be talking about how I've been growing my hair over the past six years with it being bleached and color treated. So if you would like to hear my tips and tricks, then just stay tuned. But before we begin, I would like for everyone to check out my website down below called LaVitaRosaStyle.com where you can find cute accessories like the ones I'm wearing right now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, y'all. So I recently posted a picture on my Instagram. Here it is. And it's basically showing my natural hair journey for the past six years. It, and it starts off with me having a mohawk with both my sides shaved off. And it kind of shows you how long it took for my hair to get to where it is now. And on that post, I stated like slow growing hair is still growing hair. And everybody's hair doesn't grow quickly. Don't compare your hair to others. Things like that. Because I feel like that's the main thing to keep in mind whenever you are deciding to go on a hair growth length retention journey. So definitely keep that in the back of your mind whenever you hear these tips. First things first, when it comes to bleaching your hair, I would recommend going to a professional a professional that you know actually does good work maybe the stylist was recommended maybe you've seen their work and their customers have great reviews of this stylist make sure the people that you're getting the reviews from have your same hair texture though by the way um but just make sure you go to someone who knows what they're doing that would be my first recommendation um i have i do have plenty of tutorials on how i bleach my hair how i touch up my roots and everything and that playlist will be down below it's my bleached hair playlist so you can check that out but i would recommend going to a hairstylist that ask them about the products that they use get those products and if you want to start doing it yourself do it yourself that's exactly how i got started and people always ask me how often do i touch on my roots i would say every three to four months i like to let my hair grow out a little bit as you can see um i like to let it grow out a little bit because i like you know my little roots growing in sometimes but I'll, I'll wait like every three to four months before I touch up I pretty much wash my hair every single week and I tend to use products that are recommended for dry and damaged hair because they tend to moisturize your hair more like your hair might not be dry or damaged but those products just tend to moisturize my hair the best and so that's why I kind of lean towards those kind of products like I said every single week I wash it every single week I deep condition I love the Jamaican black castor oil shea moisture deep conditioner and I'll leave some more deep conditioners that I like down below I can't I'm kind of going blank right now but I, I use pretty much it's not a specific deep conditioner that I use. I just make sure that I deep condition my hair every single time. And when my hair is feeling extra dry or I need an extra boost and something that I know for a fact will make my hair bounce back, this is something I recommend to everyone. Um, I've done plenty of videos with this product. It's like, I don't know what I would do without it. It's the Derm Organics Hair Intensive Mask. I will also link this one down below. Out of all of the products that I would ever recommend, this one is the main real deal. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth the money. And yeah, if you get nothing else from this video, get that one. You'll thank me later. So another thing that I do in my routine after I wash my hair, I need to make sure that I lock that moisture in even more so. And I do that with twists braid outs you know things of that nature that i can uh, do the loc method a leave-in conditioner um oil jamaican black castor oil and coconut oil and also a cream i do the loc method and i lock that moisture in place and also i massage my scalp and um that gets the blood flowing in your scalp and encourages hair growth i don't know if it really does but i know i saw a difference from me doing it and me not doing it so i like to keep that in my routine because i feel like it stimulates growth and maybe i'm tricking myself into believing that another thing you should be doing with your hair is keeping it protected i feel like a lot of times we will lose hair or will damage our hair by accident just from not protecting it not wearing bonnets not having a silk pillow case which really really helps me because a lot of times i'll have a hairstyle where i can't wear a bonnet i don't have a bonnet big enough 
or I can't necessarily tie my hair down, but a silk pillowcase will definitely come in handy. That way your hair can, you know, kind of be free. Like let's say I'll do little pineapples all over my head, like four ponytails. I can't put a bonnet on it, but I can still lay down and feel like my hair is protected because of the satin pillowcase. It's really important to keep your hair protected because I feel like the number one cause of stunted hair growth and the reason why you can't retain length it's not that your hair is not growing, you can't retain the length, it's because it's breaking off and um, we're not protecting it. And also, I forgot to mention, when you do twist your hair, make sure you seal your ends with an oil. And I just now started sealing my ends with grease. I did a, a video the other day um, doing my hair with grease and they told me I was doing it all wrong. If y'all want to see me do my hair all wrong with grease, check the video out. I guess I'll link that down below too. But they said it's a sealant, so that means you put some leave-in or moisturizer on your hair and then you use that to seal the ends so i've been doing it lately and i actually really like that another thing you want to do is keep your ends clipped um i clip my ends every three to four months i tend to do it whenever i touch up my roots so that day i'll like twist my hair and then i'll clip the ends i recommend doing it that way because i've tried it other ways and i always tend to cut off too much when you twist your hair and you see the ends you might see some pieces that are a little bit too straight or they're not curling up the right way just clip those babies off you'll it'll be worth it in the long run and also you want to make sure you get professional shears and they don't cost too much you can go to the beauty supply store and get some shears but you want to make sure you get some good shears to cut your hair because um you can end up damaging your hair by using any other just regular pair of scissors another thing that i do is i'll wear protective style maybe i'll get box braids maybe i'll do faux locks maybe i'll do crochet braids um but i'll leave my hair up for like two to three months out of the year let it have a break let it grow i think that's very important every time i do it it seems like my hair comes back even like more popping and fresh i think my hair needs a break like some people feel differently but i think my hair definitely needs a break every so often and also beware of pulling your hair back into tight ponytails or puffs and if you do i i have let me show y'all real quick so if you do pull your hair back i have these silk scrunchies that i got from the beauty supply store did i knock everything off just now <laughs> but i got these uh silk scrunchies and when you pull your hair back it's less likely to break your hair off but regardless of what you use on your hair you don't want to leave your hair up in a bun or back in a puff for too long because that will lead to breakage i don't care how much you take care of your hair i've seen it with my hair i'm trying to do that less often i'm trying to be a little bit more careful with my edges even though my edges have never really truly been a problem but this section of my hair here i feel like could be stronger and could have grown more i feel like it's broken off a little bit more because i'm always pulling it up into a bun or in a puff or doing like some sort of style with it and i'm trying to leave it alone right now see if that makes a difference but i would definitely recommend that to everybody too because i already have heard other people say the same thing natural hair is a lot of trial and error finding products finding a routine that works for you you can use my routine but make sure you're tailoring it to your hair what makes your hair work trying different things and also don't compare your hair to anyone else's because your hair is never going to be like theirs um your hair is unique to you even if y'all have the same hair type it's just different you might have different diets and that might be the reason why your hair grows differently you know what i'm saying um oh also drink a lot of water I, that's a bonus tip drink lots of water that really does help not only your skin even though i'm wearing makeup but it also really helps your hair growth and just your hair health overall but yeah like i was saying like if looking at other people's pictures and you know videos are not motivating you and it's discouraging you just cut all of that out until you feel comfortable enough to watch them seriously because i had to do that for a while myself because i'm just like why is my hair not growing like hers why is my hair not curl up like hers because you have to learn to embrace your own hair and love your hair for what it is and then once you do that that's the the quicker that can happen the quicker 
I think your hair will grow, honestly. I think when you're not like overthinking it, that's when it'll happen for you. My hair, I feel like my hair grew overnight, but obviously it didn't when you look at that picture. Time flies when you're loving yourself, you know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know some of your tips down below if you have color treated hair, or even if you don't, let me know the products that you use. Let me know what you think about my routine. I would love to hear your opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.